Hello and welcome back to my space. If you're new here, my name is Renee. And of course, if you're a returning subscriber, hey girl. So let's just cut right to the chase. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the 2021 Met Gala, which took place in New York. Normally it takes place in May, but because of everything that's going on with the pandemic and everything, they pushed it back to September. So the theme for this year's Met Gala was American independence. So that pretty much left room, which according to Vogue, I'm just gonna read it verbatim just so I don't get anything misconstrued. So according to Vogue, the American independence theme gave attendees a wide berth of ideas to play with the founding fathers in potted wigs and star spangled gowns to Lady Liberty cosplay and of course all things red, white, and blue. So is that what <laughs> the celebs gave? Listen, it set Instagram off. Like everyone just didn't understand. Like, so what was the theme? So no one followed the theme? My personal opinion, most people looked a mess. Just to be honest, to me, most people looked a mess. But there were some that did stand out to me that looked good. I couldn't quite figure out like what they were going for, but they looked good nonetheless. So let's get started. So I don't really have anyone listed in any particular order. I do have a mixture of men and women who I thought looked good. But first off, my fave of the night, which I will in that particular order, my fave was Mary J. Blige. And according to Vogue, she is wearing, I'm checking my notes. Mary J. Blige is in Dundas. Hopefully I'm pronouncing it right, Dundas. So, I don't really know what this, I guess you could say stars. Maybe that's what the theme she was going for. It was this beautiful gold number and I'm gonna put on the screen, like a split screen of everyone just so you guys can get a look to see like what everyone was wearing. So it was really just all gold. I just feel like for Mary, this color works for her. Gold is her, her look and her tone. And I'm not telling you, she's aging backwards. She looks amazing. Like, do you see her? She has like a pulled back ponytail, middle part, deep V-neck, and it just fit her like a glove in the, the you call it, the train. The train of the gown was even more beautiful from behind. I loved it, loved it. Okay, so next up we have a guy and that is Tom Ford. I thought his suit was so classic and I'm pretty sure he's wearing Tom Ford. It didn't say anything specific, but I'm pretty sure he's wearing Tom Ford. He has this beautiful, is it like a velvet blazer? Is it even black? I'm just looking at my notes. I'm not sure if it's like a black or like a sort of like has a green tint to it. This beautiful black bow tie and his sunglasses just look amazing. He just looks classic from head to toe. Nice crisp white shirt. Clean and classic. I don't have anything bad to say about it. The men you normally, I guess they don't really have much room to play with unless they just go full on costume, which <sighs> quite a few did that last night, which I guess it's time to have fun, but it's Still make it make sense. And I guess this play on classic, on the classic tux, or I guess this play on the, I guess this play on this classic look is very American. So yes, tens across the board for Tom Ford. Okay, so next up we have Bad Gal Riri, you don't know. Rihanna comes and slays every time. Now, this is something very different. The average person is probably like, what the hell? Like, what does this have to do with American independence? Some people thought it was a play on maybe Trayvon Martin with the Scully. I thought it was like a glam, glam hood. I don't know. But when they asked her what it means to her, she's like, I'm an immigrant and that's what that means to me, which is true. America is a melting pot of everyone. So I thought she looked great. To me, Rihanna dresses like this on her day to day. But it looked good. She came with ASAP and they looked great together, okay? We'll just keep that that. I don't really know what he was wearing. I guess his grandmother's quilt. Very American. But yes, tens across the board for Riri. I'm biased, I know, I'm biased. I'm biased, but you know. Okay, so next we have another guy and that is Russell Westbrook. I thought he looked great. Again, another classic suit, all black. And I really liked what he did with his hair. If you guys look, they, he had like spray painted stars in his hair and very American to me, another classic, it fit. 
It looked great, a black bow tie. I have no complaints here. I thought he played it up with his hair with the theme. He stuck to it, no complaints here. It's great. Okay, so next up, I chose Pharrell and his wife. If you guys can see here. I thought he looked great. It didn't say what he was wearing. I would assume Chanel since, you know, that's who he's always usually in. But he played up the whole cowboy look to me, Western. And that's very American. I thought he was on theme as well. It's like a leather head to toe look, but the college shirt, both him and his wife have on the same outfit. And the boots, I'm not sure what you call those boots with like the tip on it. But they look really well put together, nice and tailored, and it stayed true to their own personal style and still staying on theme. But I loved it. They look real cool. So next we have Janet Mock. I love this. I loved her glam, her hair, everything. The, I'm assuming the blue was the play on the red, white, and blue. I'm not sure. I just love the overall look. She has like this ruffly cape. I don't know if it's like a cape or like it's part of her the train that she has going on. It's like light blue. You guys can see here. It's just beautiful. The dress, the actual gown fits her like a glove. It looks like it's open back. The whole thing just looks good. She just looks really classic and beautiful. And it gives a little drama, so I love it. And if I didn't say Janet Mock, she's wearing Valentino, so that's the dress. Another thing that I kind of was a little confused about were the choices of designer. When I'm thinking American independence, like I just feel like there's so many American designers that they could have chose from, even the emerging designers. Like we do need to save space for those up and coming, you know? It's like a lot of people were a lot of European designers. I mean, which is fine. Just thought staying with the theme is an opportunity to sort of give other American designers and young and up and coming designers a chance as well. But I just had to throw that out there. I just noticed that. And I feel like a lot of other people noticed it as well. And I put it on my Instagram, like, isn't the theme American? So why so many European designers? But I get it, it's the Met Gala, you know. You're gonna have to put on the best. So anyway, moving on. So next up, we have Venus Williams. I just thought she looked so elegant in this red number here. She's nice and oiled and glowing. I loved her hair. It was like up in these, it was like two buns that she had on top of her head. I just loved it. The red goes with the theme of American. I just thought she looked fabulous. And who's she wearing? Let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say who Venus is wearing, but if I find out, I'll put it somewhere in the video just to name it. But I couldn't figure out what designer she was wearing last night. But yes, again, Venus looks amazing. So next up, we have Kendall Jenner and Givenchy. I thought it was very elegant as well. It's like a crystal gown that's like, it's fitting her like a glove. It reminds me a little bit of Beyonce. I'm not sure if it was a few, two years ago when she wore that gown that looked like it was she was wearing the diamonds. This is pretty. I'm not sure where the theme of American independence comes from with this look, but hey, she looks good. I liked her glam too. It's kind of simple, like it looks like she had like a smoky eye, her hair pulled back, not to take away from the dress. But yeah, she looks good. Okay, so next we have here Lupita Nyong'o, and I thought she looked amazing. The theme of denim, denim is very American, and I thought she looked great, and still her gown fits so beautiful, and of course she's wearing her natural hair, natural meaning the texture. She's bringing natural hair and it just, every time she's on the red carpet, she does something so artistic with her hair and I love it. I love it so much. She has that beautiful skin tone. But yeah, very much so the denim, but make it met. I think she hit the nail right on the head. And let me just see who she's wearing. This denim gown is by Atelier Versace. So, love it. Love the little pizza girl. <laughs> Okay, next. Okay, so next we have JLo. So first when I saw this look, I was kind of like, what the heck? Because JLo does no wrong, okay? Like she's always like laid and ready for the girls. But once I looked at it, and again, it's more of a Western look. She's wearing, I believe Ralph Lauren. Let me double check. Hold on. Yeah, she's wearing Ralph Lauren. And it is a very Western look. And we do have to remember that it is a gala and it's going to be sort of over the top costume like it's not going to be Emmys and you know where it's full on, it's glam but it's still very different and more costume -y. so I think she definitely nailed the theme of American independence western is definitely that so you look good JLo girl <laughs> 
so next we have Gabrielle Union now I just thought the dress was really pretty I don't really understand what that has to do with the theme of American independence but I thought it was very interesting it was different free costume ish but still very elegant I thought she looked good can't really complain let me just see who she's wearing according to Vogue she's wearing Iris Van Herpen hopefully I'm pronouncing it correctly but yeah it was like this it's like roughly not even ruffles I can't even explain what these are it looks like fish scales, <laughs> but pretty fish scales that made into a gown. But yes, Gabrielle, she also looked amazing. And not so much on theme, if that's what she was going for, I didn't get it, but she looks good. Okay, so next we have Ciara, and she's also wearing Dundas. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly, but it's the same designer that Mary wore. And the play on athletics, I'm assuming, is very American, especially football. And she had a purse that has, it's like a football and it's like encrusted with like crystals. And I thought she hit the nail on the head with this look. I probably would prefer a different color. I'm not sure. I'm like a fan of the green, but she looks good. Her hair was also pulled back to take away, not to take away from the actual look. Nice clean ponytail. Yeah, and I believe that's her husband's number. Don't quote me. I don't know a thing about football. Ask me if they dunk in football. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> but she looks good. She nailed the theme. I'm not a fan, 100% fan of the dress, but she nailed the theme. So it looks good. Next up, there is Emily Blunt. Emily is wearing Miu Miu and I thought she was beautiful. I thought she nailed the theme. She has like this crown of like stars and stars on her dress. It fit very well. The drapery of the cape was beautiful. It made sense on theme. Let's see. And it fit her like a glove. Like she looks amazing. I have no complaints here. And I think her glam looks good as well. It's still very simple. Smoky eyes, a little bit of smoky eye and lip gloss, nice and simple. Another takeaway from the actual look. Thought she did a great job here. Next up on my list, I had to put in Haley Bailey from Chloe and Halle. I don't particularly say she nailed the theme, but I thought she looked good. This pink number, she's nice and oiled up and glowing. I love the glow. I don't know if maybe fireworks and that's what she was going for in independence day so if that's the case and she nailed it but i thought the pink pink is my color i love wearing pink it looks so pretty and it looks pretty on her too but i just thought it fit well it made sense and she's glowing loved it good job Hallie. next up we have iman hamam hopefully i'm pronouncing her name right and honestly i don't know too much about her i believe she's a model I believe but she looked gorgeous I saw her on the red carpet and again, I was watching the red carpet live on Vogue's website was streaming and again she nailed it she had on like this very fitted gown very see-through and mesh but it was stars like it, it made sense with the theme I mean, dependence and she had her hair in this nice fro I thought she looked beautiful I thought she looked beautiful and nailed the look as well. Okay, so next up we have Lil Baby, where I actually liked his look. I thought it was still staying true to him, young, fresh. I hated the pants, the cut of the pants and the shoes, but I thought it still looked good. The turtleneck and all the little brooches that he has, I still thought it was young, fresh, stayed true to himself, but still classic. He looks good here. American the theme, I'm not sure, but he looks good. I thought it was, it was good to see young, fresh people at the Met, you know? That's why I added him in here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, he's also wearing Coach, which is, as far as the theme is concerned, he hit the nail on the head with an American designer. But other than that, he looks good. Next. Now, last but not least, we have Iman. Oh my God, she looked breathtaking. She is wearing Harris Reed by Dolce & Gabbana. Now, I'm not sure if with all the feathers, if it's a take on Native American, which we all know who were here first. So if that's the case, then she hit the nail right on the head. She looked beautiful. She shut it down. She showed the girls how you show up to a Met Gala, okay? 
loved it her skin was glowing gold just looks so beautiful on black skin i love it it looks like she has like a pant a pant underneath it and with the feathers in the headpiece just gorgeous 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 yes Ima, i loved it love love loved it okay so that is all for my review on the met gala hopefully you guys loved it did you guys tune in who did you guys like who did you guys dislike i just decided I'm just going to review the people that I did like in an effort to be positive because if I was going to review the people that I did not like, oh my god, we'd be sitting here all day. This would be a three hour video because most people just looked insane, but <laughs> I decided to focus on the people that I did like. So thank you for sitting through the entire video and as always, don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe, especially subscribe. You know, we're growing still. Hit that subscribe button and until next time. Bye.